guys, whenever you want to get started, start your clocks, go on. Six four to Brian at the moment. Um, what's happened so far? Brian uh, received the ball. Uh, he moved up silence to I think try a tuck on Obulus, uh, and the tuck hit. But the he tried to pass the ball back just so he could dodge silence back. That missed. So silence was left out forward. But I think Jordan just sort of saw that saw that silence was a little bit out of possession and overcommitted to try and kill him. So he sent it his Obulus and then that his Obulus got killed and at the start of the next turn, Brian managed to score a goal with his own Obulus who then got taken out. So that's the 6 four at the moment. Um, so basically, a little bit of an early uh, unfortunate missed pass from Brian but Jordan, in trying to capitalise on the mistake, I think went a little bit too far uh, and maybe got a, li a little out position but it's still Looking at it now, it's still absolutely anyone's game. Um, they're both absolutely excellent players, uh, and I'm I'm really interested to see where this game goes. Brian White, my opponent in the last round, is a guy I've known for a while and actually beat me in the finals of a big tournament for another game, so it felt really good to, to get back at him. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to come to England. It's been a long time since I've been there. Looking forward to it. Uh, the game was very tight. You know, it swung back and forth on a couple of rolls, but once it got into the real grind in the center, I think that's where I played best and I was able to, to, to win the grind and that, that helped me win the game. It was a very close game. So obviously early on, Brian missed that kick mm -hmm. uh, to pass it back to dodge and pull silence back. Right. Um, do you feel like you maybe overcommitted a little bit after that, or...? Uh, no, I, ha I mean, I had to kill Silence, I have to generate, yeah. and... Because he went for the one die, shut out, and if he doesn't get that, I think I'm really going to take over, because Obulus will go last, yeah. and I'll guarantee myself going first, and probably putting a player down to low hit points. That's fair, yeah. Yeah, so he went for the one die, so 50-50 there, and then, yeah, missing the kick was rough for him, but, um... Yeah, I was a hair in for uh, for, uh, for him to get yeah. my obulus. So if I was just a little bit further out, uh, yeah. But I thought I thought I went to Max me. So no, I, I mean with two flash on silence, I had to go and kill him. Oh, so you had two flash on yeah. silence as well. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's, it's obviously I watched. I was watching the game, but it, I, I was getting the impression more than from the start. But yeah, it looked it looked tight as hell. Because right. um, obviously with the, with the double obulus, like you've got the the, the trading the legendary. Back and forth. So you have to sort yeah. of be very careful and go, go for the last activation. Right, and he had to spend his legendary on turn one to make all that happen, which yeah. is why I didn't feel so bad about it. Because yeah. then I could just hold that legendary over him for the rest of the game. Yeah. 
because I, I, it's something I noticed as Brian was after that he was leaving himself on zero and yeah, things. Exactly. And I, was, went, so. I, I think I won initiative automatically every single turn after. Yeah, that. because there's no point. Yeah, because otherwise you will just it's it's that way that Obulus plays with your opponent's head. Exactly. You, when the threat of that feat yeah. of uh, the legendary is hanging so, there. Yeah, the yeah. fact that it was a two-two trade and I got two points for killing silence and then got to hold in, I, I felt pretty good about the rest of the game. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Um, so, if you overall have you enjoyed this, sort of oh, I've had a great time. Yeah, yeah, it's been so much fun. That's awesome. Like, so um, we're going to sort you out for obviously uh, going to SteamCon in November. Yep. So you get free flights, free hotel, absolutely everything. That's fantastic. I'm looking it's forward to it. Awesome. Yeah. So. Awesome, we'll set you up with that, we'll get it all sorted, so great, thank you very much yeah, for playing. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks Wonderful. for running everything. Yeah, it's great. They basically just sort of traded takeouts, yeah. um, but eventually uh, Jordan had birds with the ball just at the back, and he managed to bring that forward and shut out um, Brian's obulus. Yeah. So that meant Brian had to go, I had to put that at the last. So then Brian killed his silence, take it to 10. Yep. But um, Jordan brought a dodge forward with the ball, got the ball to his obulus, yep. and just got right, got in there and scored. Cool. Super tight. We were just trading, like, trading takeouts back and forth. Yeah, everyone seems to have had a good time on the yeah, weekend. Like, thing, yeah. The guys that lost earlier on in the rounds are still playing, so they're still getting to play. Yeah. They're trying to get into places, so they've obviously had a great time playing. Um, it must have been a good reaction for everyone yeah. involved, really. So, so we've, got, we've got another person added to the roster for uh, the World Finals at SteamCon. Yep, that's true. That's two out of two out of eight. Two out of eight. Two two of eight. eight. So one for Canada, one for the USA. Yep. Yeah. So, so, so what are we on? We're in August, so I think September. Australia. I think Australia. Oh, yeah, I think that's a big one. Yeah, so, that'd be really cool. Yeah. Uh, see which uh, Australian's going to join us. Probably an Australian anyway. Is, is Ratcon not? What's Ratcon? Oh, it's October, isn't it? Uh, that's Germany. It's ge yeah. Was that originally August, I think? It's been fold. It's, it's the well, end. The date, the date for the German yeah. championship changed, didn't it? So it's gone to Ratcon, which I think actually might be. It's either Australia or Germany next. Yeah. It's one of those two. It's good that we know for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's good that we're very organised. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and every, everything's okay, and that's important. But it's, true. it's the end, end of the con, and um, we had an extremely exciting time getting here. Uh, it took us three days to get here. That was exciting. Uh, so we're all we're all shattered, but it's been a great con, like properly cool. Yeah. It's, it's like, so enormous. Like, like, what's been really surprising for us is a huge amount of people that turned up just asked for full game and demos. Yeah. Like people that never played Guild Ball before. Like I don't really want a 10 15 minute demo, show me the whole game straight away. And yeah. those tables have been packed all weekend. Yeah. And I think that's something we're gonna do a lot more of at Gen Con in the future. We had, we had one yesterday that was amazing because uh, the guys showed up, got the full game demo. Went through to the hall, bought models, came back, built the models, and started playing a game. Just yeah. the two of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just awesome to see. Yeah. We've said a couple of times over the weekend how rewarding that is for us, who had a hand, like had a small hand at least in trying to make the game and maintain it. But it's so nice when people come up to you and you see that they're really enjoying themselves. And like they've literally just gone, had a demo, bought into the game, and they're playing it straight away in front of you. And they're like, this is awesome. Yeah. So it's, it's rewarding for us. I've not, I've not heard a bad word about it all weekend. No. Like, not literally, no one. The, 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 the take up rate from the demos is insane. It's something, it's only eight, so I, I, we have the actual figure somewhere, but it's only 80% of people that get like a demo, 70% or whatever, get a demo. 90% of facts are made up on the spot, right? 90% of facts are made up on the spot. It's a high percentage. It's a high percentage. High percentage of people who definitely get a demo. Proven high percentage yeah. that we record. We definitely record and don't just go off gut feeling. Absolutely. Like, everything's okay. Yes. Everything's not on fire. No. That's important. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, there's still some uh, full game demos running just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's awesome. Like, really awesome. It's, cool. it's great meeting all the American part, like, because they have a slightly different view on the game over here as well. Like, we were talking this earlier, but the the lot of multitions players over here is it's weird. Like, we just, we just don't have that. In they the just UK. they just like the big, nice, warm, fuzzy, obulus sleeping yeah. blanket of safety. <laughs> That's what they like. Yeah. Like, it's fine. Don't get over it. Like, take all this away. No, don't take my blanket. <laughs> Not my blanket. It's good. Yeah. yeah. So it's cool. It's been great. Alright, thanks guys for all turning up. Hope you all had some good fun. This is the first time we've had a US national champion at Guild Ball. I'm going to start in reverse order. So in third place today we have Alex Botts. In second place, after a very, very, very tough final finish 10 12, we have Brian White. Yeah. 
And in first place, the first ever US national champion of Guild Ball, Jordan Knight. And thanks everyone for turning up.